Hello, I am Irene Vineyard Bennett, author of the award-winning novel, Battle of the Artisans, Making the Bells of Marquis Yi. This story takes place in ancient China, 5th century BCE, along the Yangtze River. I'd like to read the opening scene for you. He'll kill you. Mama's fierce words pierced the pre-dawn silence like the gong at the village gate. What? Tang Toon froze on the windowsill with head and shoulders outside their mud brick house and his right leg dangling inside. He strained to make sense of the low voices coming from just beyond the curtain that separated his tiny sleep corner from the rest of the family. His dad said, I won't let him kill me, Lin. I have a plan. A killer, thought Tang Toon. He dropped down from the window, eased his roll of clothes and art supplies off his shoulder, and inched along the packed dirt floor toward a sliver of light edging the curtain. You've avoided him for years. Why risk your life now, his mama said. Squinting through the crack, Tang Toon could see his parents on the opposite wall of the one-room home. The oily smoke from the clay lamp beside the earthen bed pricked his eyes as the flickering light reflected off his mother's tear-streaked face. She sat on the edge of the bed in her gray tunic, gripping the arms of his bare-chested father, who hovered over her like a stone statue. Studying them, Tang Toon noted the play of lamplight across his father's bulging muscles and wished this stern man would be his gentle giant of a dad again like he used to be. He shook off the memory and held his breath. Ba said, Our work can save us, Lin. Our work will save us. He believes you betrayed him, Jian Jun. Her words sped up, and he beheads people. I can protect myself, he interrupted her. But think of our family. I've got no choice. I must do this, or none of us will survive. The tree bark sound of his voice scraped down Tang Toon's spine so hard he winced and shivered. Mama shook her husband's arms. I beg you, don't. He bent down and spat words in her face like water popping on hot metal. Sky God rewards men who work hard. As Mama threw her hands up like a shield, Tang Toon lurched back. He tripped over his go roll and grabbed at the thin curtain, bringing it down with him. Scooting away like a crab, he couldn't dodge his father's swinging hand. Swat! ay ya Tang Toon held his burning cheek and glared. Go back to sleep now, his Baba ordered. A killer, Baba? Who is it? Quiet. Adult concerns are not yours. With face burning and nostrils flaring, Tang Toon clenched his teeth jutted out his chin and watched Bosch slap the curtain back into place and thought, a killer not my concern, hitting me just for asking. Well, see if I care. He grabbed up his roll of belongings, tossed it out the window and scrambled after it. Windblown tree branch fingers pointed toward his path of freedom through the shadowy village.